Ida for not wanting to pay for my girlfriend's car maintenance after I used it with permission once while pet sitting for her ah. My girlfriend, 28F, was traveling and asked me, 30M, to stay at her place and look after her dogs. She told me I could use her car for anything I needed during my stay. She has two cars and did not specify which one. A Porsche 911 GT3 and a Toyota Camry. I used the Camry most of the times but took the Porsche for a short road trip to a hiking trail and I hired a dog sitter that day. We did have fun with it in an empty field but nothing too extreme or going over what the car is rated for. When she got back she noticed the Porsche was more dirty, I did not leave it extremely dirty or anything just a normal amount of dirty, and asked me if I used that car, I said I did but only once. She got upset and said that I should have known when I said car she meant only the Toyota as she always refers to the Porsche as the Porsche or the GT3. She herself only uses that car for special occasions and sometimes takes it to a track, and I thought our trip counted as a special occasion. She got the car checked as she claimed it felt different, and came back with an incredibly expensive maintenance quote and told me I should pay for the suspension and undercarriage damage parts of the bill. I feel like she is being an ah I only used it for one day and I said I did not know maintenance was part of the deal and that I felt tricked. I offered to pay for the whole service of the Camry the next time it needs it. She got the other car knowing the maintenance is high for her hobbies and is trying to shift the maintenance cost to me. Ida. Edit, I did not know you could not use the car in fields, well I know but I thought one that was relatively flat would be okay if he drove slow and my friend really wanted to try the car and pressured me to let him try it in the field even though I was reluctant but he assured me it would not cause any damage. I will pay the bill in that case maybe even the whole bill. I could afford it and I doubt my friend would pay for it. In the first place I wanted to fetch my Subaru outback from my place so we could store more stuff, but my friend convinced me to take the Porsche. Edit 2, she knew I was going on the trip and she contacted a dog sitter she trusted and I paid for it. Greater, greater than we than did have, have fun, fun with, with it in an, an empty, empty field, field but nothing, nothing too extreme, extreme or going, going over what, what the car, car is rated, rated for. for. Yes, Uda. Seriously? A field and a track are pretty different, and then you're surprised there might be a suspension and undercarriage problem? We did we have did fun, have fun with, with it in an empty field, field but nothing, nothing too extreme, extreme or going, going over what, what the car, car is rated, rated for. for. I'm unaware of any 911s rated for off-road use. You went turfing in a 911 and probably trashed the suspension. Uda, and FK pay for your damage. Edit to add, okay, so I am now aware that there are off-road variants of the 911, but. 1, the GT3 ain't one. 2, they're crazy expensive and his girlfriend doesn't own one of them. Uda. The fact that you took the Camry every time except once is a big indicator that you knew she meant the Camry when she said you could use her car. You also knew that even she only used it for special occasions. She also said you could use her car for things you needed. Not for fun which is what you admit to using the Porsche for. I don't know whether you damaged the car or not wouldn't surprise me if you did. But at the end of the day if you hadn't taken her car out to have fun in an empty field then there would be no question. No one tricked you. You screwed up. Yeah. This sounds like the kind of excuse a teenager makes when their parents are out of town and they do something they know they're not supposed to. Something also rubs me the wrong way with the GF having Op stay over and take care of her dogs, but Op dips for a day and has another dog sitter come over? He took major advantage of Op and it would give me trust issues in our relationship if that was me. I hope the other dog sitter was someone that Op knew and or trusted. Uda sounds like weaponized incompetence on your part. You knew what she meant. IDK, dude, sounds like you did know she meant the Camry and chose to play dumb to justify a joy ride. And you didn't take it to a track, you took it to a field, it's a sports car, not an ATV. Pay up, and don't do it again. Uda. Exactly this. If the car had been taken out once for a quick spin around the block and told her about it. I drive the Porsche to such and such reasonable destination and back then presented the vehicle back to her cleaner than before, that might be a different story. Bruh, you took it to a field and she noticed it. You got caught. Uda, saying that you'd only pay for maintenance on the obviously cheaper car is a cop-out and you know it. And now you're blame-shifting onto her by saying that you felt tricked. And also. 
I used, I used the Camry, the Camry most, most of the times, times but, took but took the Porsche, Porsche for a short road, road trip, trip to a hiking, hiking trail, trail and I hired a dog, dog sitter, sitter that day. You took her car out for a road trip and then hired someone else to do the job she hired you to do and now you feel tricked? You are a mega ah. Wow. Edit, I misread something. Uda. You took someone's Porsche into a field? Enough to get it dirty? You drifted it, didn't you? And who is the we that went into the car? If it were routine maintenance like oil change, I don't it's not on you. I suspect it's more about alignment, tires, clutch or brakes, isn't it? Those are all issues that can develop from driving the car hard, which you did. You didn't need to hoon her car around in a field. You're an ah. The reason she doesn't drive the Porsche around much is because the maintenance on those is expensive. Buddha. You took the Porsche to a hiking trail and had some fun with it in an empty field? You took an expensive, touchy car which is apparently tuned for track usage to a trailhead, which often requires either driving on gravel roads or parking in poorly maintained areas, and then took it into a field? Oh, and you almost certainly damaged the suspension and undercarriage here. Pay for the damage you did. This is not maintenance, you did things that damaged her car. Buddha. You took an expensive as hell car to a hiking trip? Have you lost your mind? The price of a Porsche could pay majority of not all of my debts off. And you took it to a field that is not suitable for a sports car. And you're mad she wants you to pay for repairs? You need to pony that money up. Also she asked you to watch her pets. Not a pet sitter. If she wanted a pet sitter she'd have used one. She didn't. And the fact you had a friend in her car without permission seals your fate as an ah. Porsches are not hiking slash field cars. You could have severely damaged that car. And the fact you feel no remorse is concerning. Also FYI chances are she's gonna be an ex soon especially if you don't make the amends that are due. It's unfortunate that your girlfriend has excellent taste in cars but absolutely shitty taste in men. You damaged her car but refused to take responsibility? Buddha. Even if she did allow you to drive the Porsche, which everyone including you know that she didn't, you are still responsible for it. Buddha. You say you use the Porsche the same way she does. She often takes it to a FK field to mess around in? Fix what you broke. We did, we have, did fun have fun with it in an empty field, field but nothing, nothing too, too extreme or going, going over, over what, what the car, the car is rated, rated for. for. What does this even mean? You took a Porsche off-roading? Buddha. You damaged your car probably doing donuts in a field. She asked you to pay for suspension damage, likely due to fast driving or country roads, and for undercarriage damage, country roads, fields. She did not ask you to pay all maintenance costs. You could even have gotten the car washed after you used it. We did, we have, did fun have fun with it in a field. field. Who is we, considering you hired a dog sitter that day? You picked up your friends, hooned it around in a field, and damaged it. Funny how you glossed over that part of the story. Buddha. Buddha. I have a feeling you knew she didn't mean the Porsche. I have a feeling you knew she wouldn't like you taking it out, and used the she didn't specify as a lame excuse. Someone damaged the car, and I doubt it was her. You weren't tricked, you took her expensive car out, damaged it, and then mad when you have to suffer the consequences. P. S. When you feel like you can do something based on a technicality, it's best to just not do it. Especially when it's relating to your partner. You took a low-body luxury sports car into a FK field? Info, what the FK were you thinking? Info, who is we? Edit, Uda. Do you still have a girlfriend after this? How stupid can you be to take a Porsche off-roading? Uda. It sounds very much like you damaged the undercarriage and suspension by goofing off with someone else's expensive car. Pay for the damages you caused. Always aim to return items to people in the same condition you received them. Even just returning it more dirty than usual makes you TA, but damaging it and then trying to minimize it as maintenance is absurd. Imagine dating someone who drove your track modified luxury car through an untended field for a joyride then plays dumb when there's dried mud and damage from their actions. Now imagine, that person refuses to fix anything but jumps at the future chance to fix something far less expensive than what they broke. That's childish. 
Stop treating your girlfriend like a free car garage. This sounds like the perfect recipe for getting dumped and the courts getting involved in fixing her property from an ex's stupid and honestly selfish, expensive decisions. Buddha. If the car maintenance is solely her responsibly and he'll flake at the first sign of his own doing, why is he even touching her car? Buddha. You broke her trust, thinking it would be better to ask forgiveness than to ask for permission. You knew she didn't want you driving her Porsche. Yet, you did it anyways and you damaged it. Now you want to weasel out of paying for the damage you caused? Ah is the most generous interpretation of your behavior. Buddha. Buddha, how much is the repair going to cost? Buddha. There was no deal about maintenance because you weren't supposed to use the Porsche, only the Camry. There was also no agreement about maintenance because she didn't expect you to damage the car. You didn't just take the car out once and you know that. At least be honest with the internet about the car. You didn't just take it to buy milk, you took a Porsche out to a field to see what it could do. You took a Porsche to a muddy field. That is not what it is rated for. It is a car that goes fast, not an off-roading vehicle. If you want to drive it fast, you drive it on pavement, not mud. She isn't shifting the cost onto you. She is asking you to pay for the damage you did to her car. This can't be real, right? Like no one can be this obtuse in the real world? Did she break up with you yet? Buddha. And you need your diaper changed. I want to know what a 28-year-old does for a living to afford a $200,000 car. But aside from that Uda. Holy crap not only did you take a sports car into a field, I struggle to believe someone can be stupid enough to think this is okay, but you didn't think fixing what you break was part of a deal? Also, letting someone else drive a car that isn't yours makes you an extra ah. Uh.